so I just got back from Minneapolis yesterday. I covered Trey Lance, but I don't quite understand his history. I'm not from the Midwest. I don't know the Midwest that well, but I've been starting to learn it because of all these road trips out there the last year. And so I was just out in Minnesota for the last few, three nights. I went to these joint practices. I, I met a lot of local Minnesota riders. And what I learned about Trey Lance is, you guys may already know this, but he's from a very small rural town, two and a half miles west of Minneapolis. It's He's, based, he's almost from South Dakota. He's from the sticks, like farm country. You know, they, people talk about Colin Kaepernick being from a small town. That's why he got overlooked as a prospect from, from teams. Dude, Turlock is like five or six times bigger than where Trey Lance is from. Came from a town that was like 13,000 people. But nonetheless, he was pretty much regarded as the number one quarterback in high school in Minnesota. He was good in high school. He just was in a really small place, probably playing other small schools. High schools, but he killed it in high school. Number one quarterback in Minnesota. And if none of these, no division one school wanted him as a quarterback, including his hometown place, Minnesota, that he wanted to go to, not even a good program, didn't want him. In retrospect, Trey Lance would have been the best quarterback in the history of that program, but he didn't go there. He went to North Dakota State. Won a national title, never lost a game, got drafted high, came back, got drafted. So this all happened very fast. All I know with Trey Lance is the dude who got drafted high and has a lot of expectations. From the perspective of the locals out in Minnesota, they are in awe of him. And I was trying to see him from their perspective, but they covered him when he was in high school. And they saw him the way the NCAA saw him. Not quite good enough. Not probably not going to make it. Not a quarterback. None of these guys were watching him thinking, my God, that's going to be the number, th that's going to be the, the Niners quarterback, the number three pick in the draft. So it was a very triumphant return for a young man who just a few years was out there getting doubted. And these, these, these locals were looking at him like, whoa, oh my God, you were the kid that we were kind of counting out. And now you're coming in to like whoop the Vikings ass. <laughs> wow. I mean, they were just totally in awe of him. So it, it kind of puts into perspective what he's been up against. He's proven himself like this before. He got counted out. And uh, he's one of the bigger su success stories of like a high school kid I've ever heard of. He kind of has that like King Arthur aura. No one thought he'd be the one that would pull the, the sword out of the stone, but he did. So um, all the pressure he's under, all the scrutiny he's under, he's done this before. He's a very experienced – that's why he's so mature, right? People talk about his demeanor. He's been through the, the ringer already. It's very remarkable for a young man because I don't know that I have or anyone – if you have. Trey has much more desire than Jim. Yeah, Trey's already – That's it. thank you. Trey's already demonstrated it. He already persevered. You should have seen the way these locals were looking at Trey like, holy shit, who is this guy? Like, you were in our backyard, and none of us saw this, and now look at you. Like, they wanted to reach out and touch him. They almost were begging Kyle Shanahan to play him in the game. They're like, look, I know you said you're not going to play him, but we really want to see him play, and he's from out here. Could you please? And he's like, no. <laughs> um, I thought that was kind of interesting. It kind of just puts his whole uh, story in perspective.